we're going to move on to our third and final example in this tutorial. And in this case, we have a fraction that's a improper fraction. Our numerator degree is 5 and our denominator is 4. And partial fraction decomposition won't work on that until we simplify the fraction. So our first step on this is to turn this essentially into a mixed result by doing long division. So we are going to divide by our denominator. Remember when we're doing long division we want to fill in placeholders for all of the powers of x so that we have a full polynomial. And then we're dividing that into our numerator. And again I'm going to fill in any missing powers to make sure I don't uh, mess up when I do the division. So we fill in with coefficients of 0. Remember when we do long division, we check our first term here. It'll divide into x to the fifth one time. And we're going to put that over. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. So in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to put a 1 here. Remember, we take this and multiply it times what we're dividing by. Oops, this doesn't go in one time. It goes in x times. So let's fix that. And let's fix our bottom here. So x times x to the fourth is x to the fifth. We've got to cancel that out. Minus x to the fourth plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0. And remember, in long division, we are going to subtract that. So here that cancels out. 0 minus a negative x to the fourth is positive x to the fourth. Uh, that's 0. 0. And x minus 0 is x. Now we bring down our last term. So x to the 4th goes into x to the 4th one time. So I have here plus 1. Now we multiply. A plus here. Plus zero. And again, we are subtracting that entire thing. You need to remember to distribute the negative. So here I get zero minus a minus x cubed, so I get x cubed. Leave that alone. Here we have x plus zero, I mean minus zero x, so we have plus x minus one. And that's our remainder. So remember the way we write this is by doing the long division, we have split this up into x plus 1 plus now our remainder. So we've essentially written this in the equivalent of a mixed number. This part of the integral we can integrate using our basic rules, but we have to use partial fraction decomposition for this part. So let's work on our partial fraction decomposition over here. In our bottom, we can factor out an x to the four uh, cubed, I'm sorry, and we get x minus 1. So we have a repeated fraction here, so we need to take care of that when we do our decomposition. Oops, that's going to be a B. Remember, we've got to go all the way up to the x cubed. And I only have one of the x minus 1's. And we're going to multiply through by our denominator to get rid of all of our fractions. So here I'm canceling out one of the x's, so I've got 
x squared times x minus 1. Here I'm canceling out two of the x's. Here I'm canceling out all three of the x's. And on this one I'm canceling out the x minus 1. Didn't really need the parentheses there. So now we can start picking some values of x. Let's try x equals 0. So now we get negative 1. If I put 0 in here, I get 0, so that's going to cancel out. That's going to cancel out. Here I get negative c. And that's going to cancel out. So we can pretty quickly here find that c equals 1. Let's pick x equals 1 to cancel out these x minus 1's. So I've got here 1 plus 1 is 2, minus 1 is positive 1. Now, here that's going to become 0, so that term disappears. That term disappears. This term disappears, so we get 1 cubed, or just d. So we have now have our values for d and c. Now to find a and b, we need to pick some other values of x and plug in c and d. So let's first let uh, x equals 2, and we're going to plug in c and d. So I get the equation when I do that. If I put 2 in here, I've got 8 plus 2 is 10 minus 1, so I get 9. Here I get um, 2 squared, which is 4, times 1, so I get 4a. Here I get um, 2 times 1 is 2, so I get 2b. Now here I'm putting in c is 1 and x is 2, so I've got here 1 times 1, I get 1. And finally, 1 for d and 2 here, so 2 cubed is 8. So if I simplify that, I get the equation 0 equals 4a plus 2b. And I have two letters here, so I need another equation. We're going to have to create a systems of equations. You can see here, since my repeated fraction is a higher power, our process here is a little bit more complicated. Just got to be patient and careful with all of your substitutions and calculations. So here, when I substitute negative 1 in for the x, I've got negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2 plus another negative 1, I get negative 3. Now I'm plugging in negative 1 for x, so that becomes positive 1 minus 2, so I get minus 2a. And here I get minus 1 minus 2, so I get uh, positive 2b. And when I put in my x and c value here, I get minus 2. And finally, my d value and my x value up here, I get minus 1. So that adds up to be 3. I move that to the other side, so I get 0 equals negative 2a plus 2b. So I've got two equations here. I've got a systems of equations, so maybe we can move over here and look at our system of equations. And when we solve a system of equations, we uh, can use either substitution method or linear combination. So if I multiply this first equation by negative, meaning changing the sign of everything, I can add these two equations together and I get 0 equals 
6a or a equals 0 and I can then substitute that back into one of my equations and I get 0 equals 4 times 0 plus 2b or I get 2b equals 0 or b equals 0. Now in this particular case the values for a and b came out to be 0 but that won't necessarily uh, be the case. So you just got to go through this process. You can't jump to conclusions that that's going to be your answer. But again, we had to use a and create a systems of equations here to solve this. So we now can rewrite this part of our problem using C and D here, this part of the fraction. These fractions will disappear because our numerators are zero. So let's go to a new page here and rewrite that problem. So from the previous page, we already had that from doing the division, we had x plus 1. And then using our uh, decomposition, the fraction part becomes 1 over x cubed. That was our c over x cubed. And then our d over x minus 1, which when d was uh, also 1. So now we can integrate. So using this rule, we get x squared over 2 plus x. Now remember, this is here x to the minus 3. So when I add, I get x to the minus 2 over negative 2. And then here we get a lin. And the only thing I'm going to do here is get rid of my uh, negative exponent. So I'm going to rewrite this final answer here as 1 half times x squared plus x minus 2 over x squared plus the lin of x minus 1. Absolute value. And we are complete. So the integration step on this was quite simple. You can see here we ended up with something that was quite simple to integrate. But our complexity was doing the, whoops, I went to the wrong page here, was doing this long division. So I know many of you probably don't necessarily remember how to do our long division. And then we had these repeated fractions that turned into causing some complexity because we couldn't isolate a and B separately, so we had to create two different equations with A and B and create a systems of equations which we solved using the linear combination method. So good luck in your partial fraction decomposition and try not to panic or freak out because we are working with fractions.